Hi, this is Piyush Bhargava and I have a few interesting cases to share with you. These cases all show the importance of doing SPECT CT with nuclear medicine studies. So on this slide we have two whole body images from an Indian 111 WBC scan showing anterior and posterior views. This patient presented with fever and chills and we were um, trying to detect and localize a focus of infection that was not seen on conventional imaging. So on these images, here is a focus of abnormal uptake abutting the uptake in the spleen, which is seen right here in the left upper quadrant. Now, this whole body image by itself does not provide much information as to where it is and what is the significance of this focus. When we did a SPECT CT, we found that this focus, which is seen right here on the fused transaxial pit, SPECT CT image corresponds to this focus of ill-defined soft tissue density with some peripheral fat stranding um, in the um, right in the left upper quadrant. On a follow-up contrast enhanced CT, this was found to be a focus of uh, abscess formation related to diverticulitis. So SPECT CT helped in localizing this focus of uh, abdominal infection. The next case here is of a patient with history of prostate cancer who presented with rising PSA and a whole body bone scan was performed. We are looking at whole body images and posterior and anterior projections here. There are full size of increased uptake in the spine and the pelvis that suggest osteoblastic bone metastases. To further characterize these lesions, we did a SPECT CT on the transaxial CT image in the bone windows. You can see here in the left uh, ilium abutting the SI joint there is no abnormal sclerosis, but on the fused spec CT image, we see a focus of increased uptake that corresponds to this focus here on the whole body image. Similarly, the uptake in the L5 vertebral body, which is seen here, does not show any anatomic changes. This happens frequently when there is uptake on a scintigraphic study, but the um, CT portion uh, is negative. Now, incidentally, if you pay attention to this whole body image in the anterior projection, there is some uptake in the right upper quadrant in the region of the liver. And on the SPECT CT, we found this large mass incidentally, which was not known before in this patient, uh, seen here on this fused SPECT CT image and not as well characterized on this low dose CT, but this turned out to be metastatic disease from a second unknown primary, which was lung cancer. So SPECT CT provided um, a lot of useful information in this patient's management. Next patient presented with history of uh, a polyp that was dissected on colonoscopy and they found neuroendocrine tumor. So initially they presented with hemocult positive and they were passing microscopic blood in their feces per rectum and a follow-up colonoscopy found a polyp that was dissected, showed neuroendocrine tumor and an indium 111 W uh, octreotide scan was performed. We are looking at the anterior and posterior whole body images and there is a focus here in the liver and there are multiple foci better seen on the posterior image in the lower abdomen and pelvis. So these were localized using SPECT CT. You can see here on the transaxial CT image in soft tissue windows there is rectal wall thickening that takes up the tracer. This is the primary rectal carcinoid and there is metastatic disease involving a soft tissue nodule seen in the presacral region. There is a focus in the left ilium consistent with bone metastases and also um, we characterize this liver lesion which is seen here as a large focus of intense uptake corresponding to this hypodense mass uh, in the liver and also a focus in one of the um, left-sided ribs which shows increased uptake consistent with bone metastases. So this patient's Neuroendocrine tumor, the primary rectal carcinoid, was staged using Indium 111 octreotide scan and SPECT CT. So these cases show the importance of doing SPECT CT with nuclear medicine studies. Thanks for watching.